wondering, what is the deal with Catalan independence? At least, that's what most people wonder when uh, they find out that I'm Catalan. No, it's not the same as being Spanish. Uh, but that is a whole other conversation. Right now, I just wanted to answer a couple of questions that people usually have about the Catalan independence movement. And uh, so, in order to help me out, I interviewed a good friend, Liz Castro, who is a writer and translator, as well as part of the National Executive Committee for the Catalan National Assembly. And Twitter queen. I'll turn you over to her, and she can fill you in. Why is it that Catalonia wants independence? Why, why do we feel it's necessary? Well, that's a big question. Catalonia wants independence because without independence, it, I think it fears that it will cease to exist. Um, and that seems very overdramatic, but, but in many ways it's true. The, the pressure from the Spanish state to eliminate the Catalan language from schools, to um, reduce spending with cultural things, to not pay for infrastructures. There's a million things that make it really difficult to continue um, to be in, in the Spanish state. Um, and so, and, and Catalans feel like they can't be themselves. They can't, um, as I was explaining earlier with the, with the whole thing about the refugees, Catalans want to be responsible with refugees and they say, you know, we want to take in 4,500 people. And the Spanish state says, no, no, no. You don't, you don't have the, the right to do that. So it's like Catalans can't be themselves. They can't be the nation that they want to be within Spain. What would make it possible for Catalonia to survive as a state on its own? Do we have the infrastructure to, to support that independence? Absolutely. Catalonia has a 200 billion euro economy. Um, it's relatively... Uh, it has lower debt than Spain. Spain is something like a, a, a billion or a trillion. I forget all the zeros. And, um, but it's but Catalonia's debt is much less. It, it suffers from a fiscal deficit with Spain, in which Spain um, sifts off 16 billion euros every year. So if we weren't spending that by sending it to Spain, then we could be choosing how to use it to fund our own resources, our own infrastructure, our schools, our health system, um, all of those things. And um, uh, so, and, and there's um, pretty ver uh, varied uh, industry from tourism to uh, uh, technology to chemical plants to auto manufacturing. It's, it's actually quite quite broad um, and positive. It's, uh, it's, most economists who have looked at Catalonia say that it will be one of the um, more prosperous and democratic nations in, in Europe once it's independent. So what steps are being taken to achieve this? Well, from the Catalan National Assembly, which is the group that I'm a member of, um, what we've been doing is mobilizing people to insist on the right to vote on our political future. Uh, from 2012, which was our first major march, there was a million and a half people in the center of uh, Barcelona. 2013, we created this human chain. It went from one end of the country to the other, 400 kilometers long. Um, and it was this amazing feeling, not only the, the fact of um, doing it and showing it to the world and saying, hey, we're here, we really want to be independent, we have a right to be, but also the realization that we had been able to organize that, that there was this tremendous mobilizing organizational um, capacity and that you know that could be translated into this new country. Um, 2014, there was this incredible V shaped in a flag in the center of Barcelona, 11 kilometers. Um, again, another a, another way of showing that, that we have the, the right and the ability to do this. 2015, again on the Meridiana. This year we'll have another demonstration. It's not only that, it's these individual actions of people who say, you know, I, I can't, uh, whatever, my contribution might be small, but it's the thing that I can do. And there's this, all of these, this civic organization of people doing what they can to help. And it's um, had amazing results. We have a pro-independence majority in the parliament for the first time in history. Um, and we have the attention of the world that's looking at us and saying, what do those Catalans want? And that's what we're explaining. So we're hoping to be able to culminate this process in 2017. Fabulous. So yeah, just coming up, any, any events or any things that uh, people abroad and uh, internationally should keep their eyes open for? Just to... well, they should definitely keep an eye on September 11th, 2016, which is just uh, in under a month, in which we will be demonstrating once again, and to, to, to look in the spring of 2017 when we're hoping to have a referendum and to finish the, the whole process, declare independence. I know, I know, I'm like three weeks late. 
I just got back to Toronto and I've been swamped acclimatizing. But don't worry, still got lots of videos coming. Don't worry, great blue beastie. I walked on my hands. Briefly. And if you're interested in uh, following Liz Castro on Twitter, or just want to learn a bit more about uh, Catalan independence and Catalonia in general, I'm going to include a bunch of links uh, in the description, the little doobly-doo down below. So you can find everything you need to know down there. But in any case, I'm convinced that if you're a friend, today, you're an independentist.